Life can be pretty tough sometimes on your body, right? Especially whatever you do like every day, yeah? Like a lot of people who have desk jobs, they can get lower back or sciatica or back, like shoulder problems and things like that. But like gamers as well, they're like, ah, you know, they get bad necks and shoulders and stuff. Whatever you do, your body ends up hurting if you do too much of it. So a lot of people go to like masseuses and get a nice massage or even just go home, have a bath, chill out, you know, or a nice hot shower, whatever. All right. Now I've not really had many massages before. I've, I've got one of those massage guns, but that was more for the gym, right? So it just vibrates like a ball at the end that just like vibrates you, which is really nice. But then after you're doing that, this arm aches, so you've got to swap the gun over to this arm and you're just rocking back and forth. Anyway, you need somebody to do it for you, really. But um, once upon a time, because I do the gym and I had never had a proper massage ever in my life, like a proper one, okay? So, and after years of doing the gym, I was like, oh, I was getting, I just felt, I'll be honest with you, I felt normal because I've never had a massage before, okay? So when I thought, do you know what? I might do this. I might get a sports massage. So I went into the gym and I was asking people, like, do you, can you recommend any sort of like proper sports masseuses and things like this? And some people were saying this and some people that. But most people were saying, Ben, have you ever had a sports massage before? Because I was saying to them, I just want to relax and just get rid of any knots and stuff. And they're like, what are you on about? Have you ever had a sports massage before? I was like, no. And they're like, mate, like, be, be prepared to be in pain. I was like, what are you having a laugh? Isn't it just like a massage, but just like, like a deeper one? They're like, deep, mate. Right, if you get a proper masseuse, a sports masseuse, it's going to hurt. And I was like, what? So anyway, I found this guy and um, and I went there and he said, like, basically, your muscles should feel like cooked spaghetti. And, he, and, and, and as he was working on me, he was like, mate, you, you, are, you are solid. That's what she said. <laughs> He goes, you are solid. I could tell that you've never had a massage before. And I was like, mate, like what? And also, he clearly saw that I was just like an animal, right? I'm just ripped to fuck. And he just thought, yeah, clearly this guy is just sort of like, he's just like titanium, all right? Anyway, so he works on me and it felt, it felt really good, right? It felt really good. I was like, shit in hell, man. This is what it feels like to be normal. So it's really good. Now, then you have the other, the other area of chiropractors. The chiropractors I'm thinking of are the ones like the adjustment ones. You know, when they click your neck and all this shit, all right? I just don't, I just don't think it's necessary. And I've heard some pretty bad stories about these chiropractors, like people accidentally breaking people's necks and stuff like that. And... I don't know, man. You see all these compilation videos of these chiropractors and they're up there and they're like, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> like that. And then they just... And they always walk back, don't they? They... Okay, okay, okay. All right, just relax and breathe out. <laughs> right? What's all that about? I just don't get it. I just think it's a load of rubbish. I just think that your muscles and tendons will align your skeleton, right? Now, I know a lot of people in the in the chat is going to be sort of like, no, Ben, I've gone to a chiropractor and it sorted me out for... Like, I think that there are certain cases that it's really helpful, like really helpful, where people struggle to sit up. And, you know, I think that that's the case. But I think your average Joe just going to get adjusted, I don't think... It's like when people click their fingers, right? It's like... Stop doing it. It's not doing anything. You might feel like he's doing anything, but it's not. All right. Anyway, so that's my feeling on chiropractors. This, mate, this is on another fucking, fucking level. This is, this is, this is basically abuse. Okay. This, this guy is just an absolute beast on anybody that steps into his practice. This guy looks like he's a blacksmith folding steel to make a katana or something like that i don't know how this guy he he must have had one patient okay and this is the patient that you're going to see in a minute this video and then now he's out of business because word of mouth should say don't ever go to this guy ever again all right because 
if you're walking in straight in the practice, you're walking out backwards and upside down and twisted inside out, mate, after seeing this guy, right? You won't, you're not going to believe it. You may have seen it before, but this is absolutely crazy what this guy is doing. I'm going to, I'm going to show you. <laughs> this guy sounds like he's going to throw up. <laughs> No, no, mate, that is no good, man. That is, what is he doing? What is he absolutely doing to this poor soul? That's like, that just reminds me of, you know, when you fall over and you wind yourself and you're like, ah, ah, ah. Or you, you're in so much pain, you've broke a bone or something and you're like, ah, and in your mind, you just think to yourself, this isn't good. This is not good. And you're like, ah. Ah, ah. Yeah, I've had I've had times like that skateboarding, mate, right? It's not nice. It's not a nice feeling. This poor bloke is going through the same fucking sensation right now. <laughs> have, you, have you noticed? I don't know where he's not clearly not English, but it sounds like every time this guy like whinges or whines or shouts out, he's like, yeah, shush, shush, shush. <laughs> Now, I don't know, because sometimes he does a little light taps. I'm not too sure if he's doing that to knots in the muscle or in the tendons or something like that, or he's hitting pressure points. But the certain big blows that he does to the actual spine, okay, the neck, the bone, is absolutely crazy. This cannot be good. I, I please, if there's a doctor in the house, can you tell me if this is legitimately good for your body? I don't think so, right? I think there's normal, natural things that you can do to sort of align yourself, okay? Because this is clearly what it's all about, aligning the spine, right? Like I say, I'm sure, like, what keeps the spine together, right? What stops the spine from just collapsing? Your muscles and your tendons. So surely to God, you just need to work on your muscles and tendons, right? Get them sorted out. And that will align your spine. Like, <laughs> right? I'm sure. But this is fucking crazy, mate. I mean, after this first hit like this, I would have been like, yeah, mate, that's fine for me. I'm out. Actually, it feels pretty good. I'm going and I'll never come back. Thank you very much, mate. I have my bloody money. I'm gone. It doesn't even look like he's aiming properly. Oh, under the foot, mate, right on the sole. That that hit on the sole probably just hit his soul, literally. His his spirit just left his fucking body. This is why he's not moving anymore, because he's just fucking gone. Mentally, he's gone. Like, he went into sort of like SAS training to just allow, it just said, basically put your mind somewhere else. This is like the situation when you find out that you're going to go to prison for the rest of your life or something, right? And there's, and you know what goes on in prison and somebody just says, hey, hey, when they come at night, put your mind somewhere else. Like, that's what I'm talking about, mate. He, he's gone. He's just fucking gone. He's mentally gone. You want some more? Have it! Have it! Have it! Oh, God! Look, he's actually preparing for this. This poor bloke. This guy is going to sleep for a week after this. And I'm not I'm not saying this because he's relaxed after the adjustment he's had. He's probably going to sleep for a week because of the pure adrenaline adrenaline dump that his body has just produced I mean, look look at the room that he's in as well this poor bloke didn't even get any music he didn't even get one candle not one incense stick he's just like get in there lie the fuck down and shut the fuck up have it have it have it so yeah i just think that this is just way overboard and it's just gone way too far um what do you think <laughs> would you go to see this guy for an adjustment an adjustment this isn't an adjustment. This is a rebirth. <laughs> this is a new beginning. <laughs> this is reincarnation. <laughs> like...